I found this sand locally. It's pretty fine sand. And I used some coarse, I bought some coarse sand. This is putting an outlet on the bottom of the barrel, a surplus barrel that I bought. This is the manifold that goes on the bottom of the barrel, and the pea gravel at the bottom of the barrel. That's a quarter, so you can get an idea of the size. Then I put um, a layer of coarse sand and fine sand on top of that. And now I'm putting in the baffle for the top, which distributes the water over the top of the sand. And that's a float valve which uh, shuts the water off when the barrel's full so it doesn't overflow. This is the water collection system outside which actually works pretty good surprisingly in contrast with the filter system. I just have one half of the roof plumbed right now. That's the storage tank for the outside, 275 gallons. So the water goes into a filter which filters out all the junk larger than a millimeter or two and then it goes into a a first flush diverter which works like this the first water coming off the roof is pretty dirty and it goes into uh, the pipe and then the float valve blocks it off and by that time the water is a bit cleaner so it diverts to the left and goes down first to that uh, well at first it fills up that and then I can drain it through that valve and then it goes down this to um, the three quarter inch line at the bottom that goes directly into the house and goes directly into the filter so when it's raining the water will go straight into the filter and be filtered and the other line is an inch and a half line and when that uh, when the small line is full it goes into the inch and a half line and goes into the outdoor storage tank which can be later pumped into the filter and then when the tank is full the water goes out to the big line there and uh, it's just uh, out into the yard there's the three quarter inch line where it comes into the house and uh, it goes over to the sand filter and when the tank is full supposedly the the ball valve will, will stop it and when it's not raining and I want to draw water from the tank outside I can pump it in to the sand filter that's the outlet originally I had it plumbed so it would go up to maintain a water level in the tank and then it goes back down to outside where the permanent tank will be, the thousand gallon tank which will be in the ground but for now I've got it just uh, plumbed in over to this other empty barrel just so I can see the results of what the filtering might do so now I'll turn the pump on a piece of junk pump that I got at uh, Harbor Freight doesn't seem to work right Yeah, let's uh, close this and open this one. And the filtering didn't really work. There was a, apparently still a lot of clay in the soil, in the sand and um, I didn't have nearly enough water to flush it all out and clean it out. Okay, this is the water going in. To the filter. And then it goes uh, to this tank over here to store and this is what it looks like. 
after it's been filtered. My first attempt at filtering water with a sand filter didn't really work. I followed the instructions according to uh, slowsandfilter.org, but it was too slow and the water came out dirtier than when it went in. So what I've done now is uh, removed almost all the sand and replaced it with uh, layers of gravel between this material. This is uh, stuff that's designed to filter water and go in the ground. Let's see if it works for a filter. <laughs> 